pink or it might be green. You have different slides. Uh, number one, these are the cupules uh, with what else? Uh, a giant. They're just little pieces of tissue, that's all. That's number one. So we're in the hepatocapita, hep, hep, the liverworts. Number two, male liverwort. These are the antheridia in the splash platform. That's the antheridio four. Uh, the whole slide is the male dimetophyte. People say, oh, where's the male dimetophyte on my slide? Well, the whole damn slide is part of the male so these, this is the antheridium, multicellular, and these are the sperm. There's actually an exit pore. You may or might, you may not have that on your slide. Don't worry about it. Now, number three is the female. Uh, there's a lot of them that aren't so good, just in bits and pieces. There's the archegonial pore. But hunt around if you find some good archegonia. Uh, like here, here, there's only one good one on this whole slide, and that's broken. So see, there's the venter with the egg, and there's the neck, which is broken. But hunt around, I mean, this is a nice one here. You can see the egg, egg nucleus inside the venter. A nice neck canal right there. Or yours might be stained like this. Neck, venter, egg, nucleus, nucleolus of the egg. Uh, you might get something like this. That's more than one cell, so that's probably a little embryo starting to grow inside the archegonium. Okay, same thing for number... So four, five, and six forming units. You're looking at the same thing developmentally, four, five, and six. So four, what you want to do is find one that looks kind of like this, kind of, kind of dense. And these are the spore mother cells, the sporocytes undergoing meiosis. You might be able to see clumps of chromosomes, especially in metaphase where they're in the middle. But that's very dense tissue, that means it's undergoing meiosis. The next one, see this is all garbage here, so don't just focus in on that. Hunt around until you find good tetrads. Now this one is good, that one's bad, this one's good. And so here you can see the foot and the seta, and inside are the tetrads under 10x power. Under 40 X, you might see the walls. It's a little blurry. But those are the tetrads, and the long stringy things are elators. And then finally, number six, uh, these are mature. So you have an obvious foot, seta, capsule filled with, foot, seta, capsule filled with one end spores. Foot, seta, spores. That's a nice one. Okay. One end spores and these long stringy things, the elators. Okay. Now we're into the mosses. I'm sorry, here's some pictures I took over by St. Procopius Abbey many years ago. Uh, I'd say that's from there to there is about an inch and a quarter. So there's the Gemma cups, see? Not, not a real special, you know, just a Canon F1 camera. There's the female in preservative. And the flat platform there, that would be the male. And here's back on some Gemma cups and the male branches. They can be on at the same time, say. That would be female. Bunch of female sexual branches. All right, now we're into our first slide, which is number seven. This is moss protonema. So all the stringy yellow stuff is what? Protonema. That's a young gametophyte laying on its side. But this is all this is protonema. What are these dark orange things? Those are the buds, right? The protonema buds. Each can give rise to a whole plant like this. Then we have the male moss, which is number eight. These are the antheridia. Okay? Staying various colors. A segmented hair is called a Parathesis, right? Parathesis. And there's the cells that will become sperm. You know, it's 40x power. 
All right, for the female, it's a little bit more difficult, nine. Oh, it's bigger, but that's the problem. It's so big, it's hard to get a perfect section. So you have a perfect archegonium. So one slide might show the egg and the venter really, really nicely, but then the neck canal is like gone. This one, nice neck canal, the venter so-so. Any sterile hairs would be what? Uh, parathesis. So see, there's a nice A in the venter. This one is more than one cell big, so I'm betting that that's a developing embryo. Because I see three cells, not one. Okay, then finally for the sporophyte, number 10, LS, longitudinal section. Calumella, bunch of spores, uh, peristome uh, teeth right here. Well, let's go to 10x power. All right, now can you see the little, where are they? Here they are. The little teeth, that would be the peristome. There's the calumella. Here's the one end spores. And number 11 is the CS cross section. Calumella, spores, capsule wall. All right, oh, spores. Higher power for you. You can see the nucleus of Okay, number 12 is in preservative, that's your only dissection, you have a dissection scope, I'll, I'll show you where. But uh, we also have some stuff here in glass, here's minium that you're going to be looking at, and here's polytrichum, your dissection, not this one over there. But, uh, so I took a picture of this right here. Some of you might have heard of sphagnum moss and bogs if you had ecology. Here's some sphagnum moss in plastic and a glass lantern slide here. So you can take a look at them. But polytrichum is a, the largest sporophyte of all the mosses. That's why, and it's cheap. Okay, so here's the long seta, the capsule, operculum. Actually, there's two calyptras here. Why? I don't know. See the calyptra, operculum, capsule, long seta. So we have some for you in that section. Here's some moss that are growing out. That's probably minium, no doubt about an inch and a half high. Okay, the hornworms, Anthocerophida. All right, this slide is upside down. Well, it doesn't matter, I suppose. But anyway, these are the Antheridia. This one would be uh, number 14. I don't have a slide of 13, but 13 is neat because it's the uh, a piece of the entire plant with the horn attached to it. So it's a whole mom. So just take it here and just hold up for the light and look at it. A microscope. But this is 14. You can see the antheridia. See the dense spermatocytes? Each one will become a sperm cell. All right, 14. Good. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, sorry, that was 14. 15. Good luck. All right, there's usually four or five of these hunted from left to right. Under 10x, you hunt for it. This is 10x, all right, not 4x. But there it is. A tiny little archegonium with an egg. A little difficult. There's 40x. See the egg with the nucleus inside a very small venter with some neck cells leading to the outside. So that's the female, number 15. 16 is a young sporophyte. Well, our slides vary. This is a very young sporophyte. I'd call it an embryo, for God's sake. Or yours is supposed to look like this. You see a foot. Intercalary meristem, have a nice horn. What's the horn again? Capsule, right? Bursting through the gametophyte, busting through. And right there, there's the horn. And then finally, the last two, number 17, is a LS, longitudinal section. You can see how the calumella is all ripped. And even some of the spores are in pieces. They're staying red, see? There's the spores. Well, a lot of garbage on this slide. Now, number 18, yours will look different. It'll be purple, but they'll have the neatest damn tetras I've ever seen. They really stand out. But uh, this isn't from our collection. Uh, no tetras, a couple spores maybe. But so why am I showing you this? It's a little fuzzy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, a perfect four by four calumella. A few spores. See the cuticle, the green on the outside? That's to prevent water loss. Okay.